Now, fire crews in Hampshire were called to the scene of a blazing dinosaur in the early hours of this morning. The metal structure was an art installation overlooking the seafront at South Sea that was put up in the summer. Our reporter Ed Sherry is there for us uh, tonight. Ed, it had become quite a landmark, hadn't it? It had around 100,000 people estimated to have been down here over the last couple of months to see the structure that you can see behind me now. It can be seen for miles around on a clear day from as far away from the Isle of Wight. A steady stream of people have been down here today to see the wreckage. In fact, some still turning up now, and many of them upset by what's happened. Someone's done something really nice for our community here. They're adding to an already lovely area with something for the kids to enjoy, the whole family, uh, artists, photographers like myself. and. Yeah, as I say, I'm lost for words. Brilliant piece of artwork could be seen for miles around out at sea and somebody mindlessly burnt it down. Yeah, quite upset. I think it's a bit out of order, really, because it's kind of there for everyone to look at and the person who made it must feel kind of annoyed. It was a happier scene in August when the 16-metre-high dinosaur was unveiled to the community. Built in Serbia by former car construction workers, it's a sculpture of an Ultrasaurus, a dinosaur that was thought discovered in the 1970s, but was subsequently found not to be real and was in fact the remains of two separate smaller species. Those behind the project have been left devastated by today's events. We're just really sad. It, it's, um, it hasn't really quite sunk in yet. Um, everyone involved in the project is... Um, really sad that this has happened. The project was three years in the making by Brighton-based artists Heather and Ivan Morrison. They're said to be shocked and upset. Artistically, the sculpture is meant to represent the difference between fact and fiction. The only fact here today is that Ultrasaurus is no more. Ed, it may be early days. Any idea yet as to what has caused the fire? Well, Hampshire Fire and Police are both investigating. Forensic uh, examination has been hampered today by the bad weather. At the moment, it's being described as an unexplained event, but no combustible material here. It must be suspicious exactly how it did start. And what about the artists? Have we had any reaction from them? Yeah, Heather Morrison issued a statement this evening. She's one of the artists, Brighton Bay. She said she's very sad by what happened. She said she's also disappointed that people won't get to enjoy this piece of artwork. It was due to be here until October the 10th and then go on tour to Colchester and Cardiff. That tour thrown very much in doubt this evening. Ed, thank you.